I wanted to do is sort of match the parquet flooring and do a checkerboard similar to this with gray and brown. And I decided in the end to really just take a more expensive but more classic route with a black and white marble tile. It's, um, you see it everywhere in Boston, especially old buildings, really all over the country and world for that matter. And I just wanted to stay true to the uh, age of the building, the integrity of you know being in, in Boston. Um, I was able to, uh, one of my big splurges was to do this egg and dart crown molding, which I am just in love with. It just, uh, it is the thing that excites me almost the most around this whole place now. But, and it was something that I carried throughout the entire unit. So it was a lot of money to purchase and it was a lot of money to install, but I think it really makes a big impact. I thought I could salvage the closet doors here, but I actually couldn't in the end. So I did have to go out and buy these. And thankfully, my builder did uh, try to, you know, jerry rig these upper uh, cabinets to look similar to these because those were almost impossible to find. So, you know, things change and you just have to go with the flow. But uh, I actually like the changes here. I also decided to paint all the doors black because some of them are a little bit older and it sort of just recedes. It doesn't really show um, the damage of some of them. And I kind of like that look. So that's what I did here that was different than what I initially thought. I also am between wallpapers here because I feel like your entryway really is, it sort of sets the tone. It makes the statement for what you're about to see. And so I am thinking of using wallpaper in the entryway and possibly the bathrooms too. And it's just, it's a toss up. I'm waiting for one other two to come in. but. And who knows, it could be none of these by the time you come back and see the final version, but it's a process. So just go with me on it. 